Good Sunday morning to you all. Welcome back. Well, we're living in a simulation. How else can you explain the fact that we literally have the president from Hot Shots? If Edwards gets wind of this, he'll use it against you in the campaign. He'll try to prove that you're incompetent. I can prove that as well as he can. Of course. Okay, I'm all right, no problem. How is the speech coming, sir? Huh? Oh, I'm back to my A's. Does this look like an A to you? Yes, sir. All right. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Made in America. Not a day seems to go by that President Potato isn't out there emboldening our enemies with his dementia-riddled mumble talks. This, combined with his hilarious cartoon-like escape from the press, you really have to wonder where the outcry is from those that couldn't stop suggesting invoking the 25th Amendment to get rid of Trump, especially with the very real threat of nuclear war on the horizon. Of course, these people would support Biden no matter what at this point because they actually think the alternative is the end of Earth. Because they seem perfectly fine with ending the Earth through nuclear annihilation so they can own Putin. It's these people who are gonna have you all doing spit takes here in a minute, thanks to a brilliant troll by Congresswoman Lauren Bobbert, who tweeted out this amazing piece of bait. Two words, let's go Brandon. <laughs> The libs immediately pounce with a flurry of dark Brandon memes, <laughs> thinking they had really gotten Bobbert this time, not realizing that they had fallen right into her trap, leading to some serious self ownages like this post from Laura Reed's Banned Books in Florida. Quote, raise your hand if you think that Lauren Bobbert should be removed from office immediately. <laughs> She didn't just get a bunch of randos on Twitter either, no. But many of Biden's most dedicated blue check marks on Twitter. For example, George Takai, who retweeted out Bobbert's post with, She can't count! <laughs> Anti-Second Amendment icon David Hogg couldn't hold back his superior intellect and really let Bobbert have it with this one. Three words, you're an idiot! <laughs> yeah, someone here is definitely an idiot. Thankfully, that was and all and Bobbert's trap led to a bounty of blue check marks proving that they're idiots. Is Laura Bobbert dumb as dirt or just unable to count? Breaking, Laura Bobbert just completely humiliated herself, tweeting two words, let's go Brandon. That three words, <laughs> she's such a friggin' moron. <laughs> oh, it's math, just here for the ratio. How is it possible for a human being to be this fucking stupid? Great question, Charles. Two words. God, you're dumb! Check me if I'm wrong, Scotty, but I'm pretty sure that in addition to being absolutely inappropriate for a thinning member of Congress, it's three words, not two. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tell her that that's actually three words? <laughs> that's three words. And here, one of the best trophies from Bobbert's masterstroke, Joy Reid. But which two words, though? Let's go. Go, Brandon. You're really a space ball. You know that, don't you? Thanks, sir. <laughs> Brilliant, Lauren. Simply brilliant. I have not seen such a masterstroke in a while. She tricked all of these self-titled brilliant experts into proving that they're nothing but a bunch of uninformed hacks. How did they not know about this Biden gaffe? The answer is simple. The media just covered it up. The only place you're gonna see this clip is on Fox News or the internet. And according to Jack Dorsey, it's actually the left who insulate themselves in ideological bubbles, while the right cross-pollinates and follows left-wingers. What we saw is uh, folks who were reporting on the left end of the spectrum mainly followed folks on the left, and folks on the right followed everyone. So it's not surprising that none of these imbeciles knew anything about this, and ended up not just mocking Joe Biden, but embarrassing themselves. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you all have a great day today. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot.